Welcome to my channel. Today, in this presentation, I will tell you how you can earn a living by collecting a regular income. I mean, monthly dividend payments for eight months within a year by investing in a few Canadian aristocrat banks. Meanwhile, grab a copper. Of course, I mean a cup of tea. Sit tightly and then subscribe. Remember, our target is 500 subscribers. Thanks. And to inform you, I have carefully selected these banks based on fundamentals, past and present historical data. I mean performance, if you like. And I think you want to know these banks. Then stay tuned. Okay? Before I move on, let me inform you about Aristocrat stocks. The dividend aristocrats are companies that pay the shareholders and then increase the size of its payout annually. At least for the past 25 years. Again, these companies do not cut dividend payments. Unlike most companies, we will reduce or stop paying dividend during any market crash, as we have witnessed in 2020. Okay, perhaps you want to ask me, why Canadian banks? Okay, let me tell you why Canadian banks, I mean, why Canadian bank is a good investment. You see, Canadian banks are generally more diversified, with expansion into wealth management, insurance, deposit and loans, and brokerage service. Also, because of the fewer number of Canadian banks, Canadian regulators are more involved in everything the bank is doing. Meaning, any money you invest in Canadian banks would not only appreciate, but also very closely monitored and regulated by Canadian authority as against any manipulations. And if you are still not convinced, I will say do some digging yourself. You will see their track records. Nonetheless, I will tell you about these two dividend aristocrat banks. I mean, about their past and present performance. So stay tuned. Okay, the first on my radar is Bank of Montreal, BMO if you like. And it's a dividend aristocrat, a large Canadian bank with stable earnings, with dependable yields. It pays a quarterly dividend in the months of February, May, August and November with a 191 year long dividend paying history wow the bank spots a handsome dividend yield of more than four percent and a reasonable payout ratio of 56 percent and the bank cash flow streams are a bit diversified geographically than some of its competitors okay what does it mean well, it means the bank receives income from diverse industrial sectors like oil and gas, etc. Meaning the bank is very diversified. And it offers a multitude of services to individual and commercial customers. Besides, concerning historical record, BMO has rarely faltered in the past. It has a healthy balance sheet and full government support. Okay, let's take a look at the Income statement, for instance, this is the income statement, and this is your finance website. And let me quickly tell you, these are in billions. So what do we have here? 21, over 21 billions. Now look at the subsequent year, 22, then 2019, 25. That tells you there's a steady growth in their income. However, in the 2020, uh, it dwindled. You know why? Because of the crash. Now, let's have a look at their cash flow as well. Remember, they are all in billions. Look at the steady growth in 2017 to 2020. And then, in 2020, we have a little, it did a little, a little. You wouldn't blame them. Now, so what does it mean? I mean, this report. I think you'd like to know. Well, it means the bank financial position is sound. Hence, is offering investor solid value for long-term growth and income. You can't go wrong 
with this Canadian bank. And during the production of this video, BMO is trading at uh, let's say seventy six dollars nine cent thereabout. In my opinion, this is a good buy. Okay, if you are interested in other aristocrat stocks for twenty, I mean twelve monthly dividend payment, check my video title: Three Dividend Aristocrat Twelve Monthly Payment. You will see the clip at the end of this video. Next is Toronto Dominion Bank, another aristocrat bank. It pays quarterly dividend in the month of January, April, July, and October. And the dividend yield is at 4.9%. Uh, so what makes, I mean, the bank good investment? Okay. TD is one of the top financial companies in North America. And has delivered high quality earnings growth to investor. It has already gained 35% since March 2020. And it offers significant upside potential for long-term investor. Its trailing 12-month dividend per share has increased from 21 cent to I mean 21 cent 2000 to say three dollar eleven cent. I mean eleven three dollar eleven cent per share today. That's really really good. Okay, let us see how much you would have generated if you say bought one thousand six hundred shares for seven seven dollar and fifty cent. Per share in say January 2000, and if you do the mass multiply 1000 share by 750 means it was $12,000. And then see how much you would have realized today in 2021, for instance, as an example. Uh, let me take you to another platform, I mean, the track your dividend platform, and let's quickly input, input some data and see how we're going to be doing. All right, let's say our starting principal is 12,000, as you know, everything is in dollar. And then our multiple contribution will be $1,000. Dividend, let's say annual dividend yield, I'm going to be five is fine. And then dividend growth, let's be conversant. Let's say two. And then if this is if you are paying one thousand monthly, it's going to be in a year. It's going to be twelve thousand, obviously. That's all how much we are investing. Okay. Then let's say let's be conservative. Let's put five years and see what happens. Okay. Now, if we press this calculator buttons and see how it's going to what's going to give us. Voila! What have we got here? We have one hundred seventy-two thousand. It's not something we would have realized in just five years. You can play with this figure. You can change it to 10 as you deem fit. Well, this is an example. Now, you can download this app. I mean, this platform is free. It's called Track Your Dividend. You can do this, play around with it. Now, if you look at this figure, let me say, you know, figure 172,000. I mean, you minus that from my initial investment of 12,000. That gives us 160,000. So 160,000 divided by my initial investment, 12,000 again, times 100 will give us 1,333%. One, uh, 1, That's how much I would have gained. I mean, that would be my returns. However, this includes the dividend reinvestment. So, and then the present price as we as i speak now is 57 dollars 84 cent if you ask me is it a buy i would say yes is it overpriced i would say no but is it fair value yes i say this is a good buy look at how much you're going to generate now you can play with the figures like i said okay that said Remember, our target is 500 subscribers. So, subscribe, like, and comment. Remember, the goal is to generate wealth, build companies, and create jobs. Bye now. See you soon.